Hi, Terry here from Stamping Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is this sweet birthday card. I've used the Bonanza Buddies stamp set and coordinating dies and for the background I use my homemade cloud stencil. Now if you're interested in creating your own, I'll leave a link to the video showing you how to do it in the top right of the screen. Let's get started. These are all the measurements you need for all the elements required to create this project. So if you are interested in reproducing it, you can take a screenshot and refer to it later. I'm going to use Balmy Blue ink for my sky and I'm going to apply it using a blending brush. I'm going to use my square clouds stencil. This has a different cloud design cut onto each edge so I've got lots of options to play with. I'm picking ink up with my blending brush I've positioned my stencil and then I'm applying the ink to the edge of the stencil and onto the card. Then I can reposition the stencil, pick up some more ink and apply it. And I'm going to continue doing this until my panel is completely covered in clouds. I need another cloud for my toucan to sit on or stand on so I'm going to hand draw one and I'm just roughly drawing a cloud like shape doesn't have to be perfect and then I'll cut this out cutting just inside the pencil line so I don't have to rub anything out. I'm now going to outline the cloud with my fine tip glue pen and then sprinkle some dazzling diamonds glitter all over it. This is the Bonanza Buddy stamp set. And I'm using the Toucan image, the Happy Birthday sentiment and several of the other images today. I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black ink for my black stamping today and I'm going to emboss it with clear powder. So firstly I'm prepping my cardstock with my embossing buddy to remove any static. Then I can stamp my sentiment cover it with clear powder and then just put it aside until I'm ready to heat set it. I have some Whisper White card here that I'm prepping with my embossing buddy and I'm going to do most of the rest of the stamping on this. I'm going to start by stamping my toucan in VersaFine ink and I'll also cover him with clear embossing powder ready to heat set later. Then I'm going to stamp two Daffodil Delight hats and two Daffodil Delight balloons. 
I need two Granny Apple Green balloons and two lovely lipstick balloons. I also need a square gift box in lovely lipstick and a rectangle gift box in Granny Apple Green. The hat pom-poms are in lovely lipstick. The bows for the two gift boxes will be in VersaFine ink and again I'm going to cover those with clear embossing powder. This is another Whisper White mat for inside the card. I've prepped it with my embossing buddy and I'm going to stamp the bird down in the bottom right corner. Then I'm going to cover him with clear embossing powder. I'll stamp a Daffodil Delight gift box just under his beak and then again the bow will be in VersaFine and I'll cover this with clear embossing powder. Everything with clear embossing powder can now be heat set with my heat tool. I'm going to colour the bird's beaks using the Stampin' Blends alcohol markers and I'm starting with lovely lipstick. Then I'll switch to Daffodil Delight. And finally Granny Apple Green. I'm going to use the Bonanza dies to cut out the bird and also the pom-poms on the hat. Now there is a die for both the balloons and the hat but I just find it quicker to cut them out by hand. The gift boxes have to be cut out by hand. I've laid out all the elements onto my card front and I can now work out where I want to stamp the balloon strings and I've just made a little pencil dot where I want to stamp each of these. I've prepped the cardstock using my embossing buddy. I'll stamp them with VersaFine ink and cover with clear powder before heat setting with my heat tool. I can now start putting this card together. My card base is in Granny Apple Green. It's half a standard sheet of card stock scored in the middle and folded to create a portrait card. Then I have two lovely lipstick mats and I have my front panel and my inside panel and these are layer onto the lipstick mats.
To finish off the card, I'm just going to use a white jelly roll pen to add some highlights to each balloon. And that's it, my card is now complete. And here's another look at my original card. Both more or less the same. I did sponge some of the blue around this cloud before I added the dazzling diamonds. I forgot to do it in my new card. But both look fine. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.